Hello, my darlings. It's Dion Dean back with another video. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I have ventured back into the thrift stores. I have gotten, well, no, I have not gotten over my funk. I'm still, eh, still here. But I am not going to sit in the house and not do anything. I am going to get back into the swing of things and into growing my business and my brand here in South Florida. So excited to be home and seeing what God has in store for me here. But that being said, I've been in the thrift stores. If you follow me on Instagram, I am Dion Dean. Then you've seen my adventures to the Goodwill. I think I've been to two Salvation Armies, although I don't think I Instagram storied from there um, because I was it was the first time there and I you know I don't know them. I know my peaks in Chicago. You know, when they see me flip out the phone, they know what I'm doing. But in Goodwill, you know, I, you know, Goodwill and Salvation Army down here, I gotta kind of feel it out. Um, but that being said, I went to the Goodwill outlet in Fort Lauderdale, and this is my second time going. I'll leave a link up here somewhere of the first trip that I took there. Um, it, I have to admit, it's not my favorite outlet, being that I have thrifted all over <laughs> Dallas and Chicago um, and South Florida. There are just other stores that I would prefer. Um, Dallas, number one, Fort Worth. Goodwill Outlet, you know, that's my fave. Um, and of course, the um, Salvation Army Chicago um, by the pound on Wednesdays from 9 to 12 at West Humboldt. That's another one of my faves. But this one really wasn't. You guys know that I, you know, I love to thrift, but I love my good goods, honey. I love my designer. And so when I'm going to the outlets, I'm looking strictly from de for designer. Um, this place had a lot of teen brands. And you'll hear me talk about it in the video. Um, but they had a lot of teen brands. They had some Celebrity Pink. They had some Ann Taylor. Few J Crew pieces. But it was really more or less like teen brands. So um, I actually did take my camera with me. So let's. Let's go in and do a little shop with me, and then I'll show you a few pieces that I did get to pick up. All right, so let's go into shop with me. Okay, so let's get to digging. I haven't had the best of luck um, at this Fort Lauderdale outlet, but you know what? As it goes with thrifting, you just got to keep on coming, honey, because you never know. Today is a lucky day. It's going to be a little loud in here, so please forgive me. Let's see, H&M, no H&M skirt, it's not bad, I'll put it in a pile, okay, let's see, let's keep digging, Urban Wide Leg, I don't know who this is, Banana Republic, okay, let's see, some Seersucker, American Eagle Outfitters, that's not bad, you know, I always want to check the crotch, honey, okay, put that to the side, more American Eagle. Let's see if it's the same size, and I can probably bundle them, right? Oh, that's a thought. All right, let's keep going. Oh, more shorts. No boundaries. Juniors. You know, I'm looking for my premium jeans. Gloria Vanderbilt. Let's keep looking. Let's see. And uh, that's like Walmart brand, I think. More American Eagle. Abercrombie and Fetch, Wet Seal, which this may be like some good brands for those of you that those brands work for you. This is definitely a place we can get those brands. Anthony's Loft, Style Co. Alright, let's move on to another bin. Oh, hold on. I see some legs here. Looks like some skinny jeans. Let's see. Celebrity Pink. I think that's what, Macy's? Celebrity pink. All right, let's keep going. No, no. We just put out some new stuff. No, so there we go. We're about to get started. Okay, let's go in for the gig. Oh, that's just bad. I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna hold it anyway. Mm, 
like Forever 21 and all these junior brands which I totally understand because of where we are but you know yeah a lot of these like fast fashion brands are in here a lot of like faux stuff so high mood jeans I didn't think I was gonna find anything I mean you always like hope against hope <laughs> this is not the best I'm thinking that I'm going to have to make my way up north um, yeah because these bins are not it always when you're fifteen in Florida you're going to find a hurricane shirt too bad I'm a Seminole oh next let <laughs> I me mean, not do that that's disrespectful shout out to my hurricane all right so still in here looking Really, when you're when you're out here digging and stuff, you're really just looking for neighbors. For, well, for me, I don't know about anybody else, but just turning over to see quality and labels. Let's see, what is this? I don't really do men's too much, so what is this? Oh, what a cute little sweater. That's cute. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep going. Let's see, men's shorts. I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, nope. Um, I don't know who that is. I'll probably look it up, but I don't feel like it. Okay, let's see. This looks like Julie's Closet. I don't know what that is. Probably like a play on Plato's Closet. Not Plato. Victoria's Secret or something. Boy Scout. No. Yeah, so this bin looks like a dud, but you never know. This is the thing. This is why it's so difficult because you'll think it's a dud and then you'll look under this pile and you see more stuff and you keep on digging. And you're like, hold on, maybe there's something in here that I can salvage, but I don't think there is because we're at the bottom there. Let's see. Ralph Lauren. Is kitties? Ralph Lauren 3T. Cute little dress. Cute little dress. Hmm. Let me think about that. Let me hold that right there. And everybody's kind of moved on to the other. Which call it? It's just me in this bin. Okay, so it's really, really loud. So I think I'm gonna end the video here and let's get to see what I actually bought. All right, so as you can see, it was okay. I really wasn't feeling it. Um, it was okay. You know, when you're going through whatever and you just want to kind of clear your mind, a thrift dig is the perfect thing to do, honey. Um, it just is what it is. And I think I'm going to do a video on how to shop the Goodwill outlet because it's very different than shopping your traditional Goodwill. Because um, when I looked at the reviews of this particular store, there were people that were just like, oh, you know, everything's in bins, nothing's hung up. So, you know, if you're not prepared for that, I want to kind of prepare, put a video together to prepare you for that. But nevertheless, let's talk about a few things that I did get. Um, wasn't the best, but in anything, I can find something. And I have shut down my Poshmark until like August, September, because I... I just cannot make it work right now. It's just too much on my brain. But in the few pieces that I have found, I've been putting them on my eBay store just for for whatever, just to sell them. <laughs> the seller in me, the reseller. So the first piece that I found that I dug up was this vintage Kate Spade bag. And so, yes, it's a little mucky, um, but somebody is going to love this. And so I got it for them. <laughs> I always say there are people out in this world that are looking for something like this, and I would have provided it to them. So here's the inside. Mm, mucky. Need some cleaning out. I'll take a look, see if it's something that I really want to sell. But I think somebody will love this, you know, in its current state, you know. Um, I found these, and I got these because actually on my Poshmark store, I um, sold something similar. And so these are kind of like a cult favorite. If you are that kind of American Apparel American Apparel guy or girl, um, American Apparel, they make those disco pants. And so these are like 
the skinny uh, skinniest of skinny jeans. They kind of were the the people at the forefront. Look at this waist, y'all. This looks like Riley could fit it. This is an extra extra small, and it looks like an extra extra small. <laughs> Nevertheless, this is somebody. Somebody is going to love it. And then I got this, um, not BCBG, Marciano. So Marciano, well, if you guys are fashionistas like I am, which I know you are because you're here, um, guessed by Marciano. So I got the top, Marciano top, and it's really well made, cute little top. And then the one piece that I was actually like not expecting to find um they you know one one thing that i will say about this store about this outlet is that they go through very quickly so every probably 30 minutes to no, 45 minutes to an hour they will bring out new bins so it's continuous because i know in dallas i mean they would bring out like two bins every hour but for the most part it was slow going this outlet is like bam 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 so if I were to stay like a day I probably would have found more items but I was there for about two hours or so not even like an hour hour and a half that was it for me I was done I really just went to kind of clear my head for those of you who love to Smith you know what I'm talking about you just want to go in the store and just uh, relax that's how I relax um, but I found this vintage coach bag and so I love vintage coach bags so I feel like everybody loves a vintage coach bag and it's in decent condition there's no peeling or anything like that and so yeah I got this out of the bins and you can see the inside and I talked about leather bags in a few of my videos and how coach leather bag is just always going to be in style so I'm going to throw these pieces up on eBay. I didn't necessarily go there to shop, want to clear my head, but I did find some pieces. Once again, if you if you are a reseller, you will find something to resell in the store. I don't want to dissuade those of you who are resellers in the South Florida area because you will find pieces to sell. Um, this just wasn't my type of merchandise to sell in those stores. But once again, if you are if you have like a great junior eBay or Poshmark, especially Poshmark, if you're a Poshmark seller, there is definitely stuff for you to um, find, for you to put on your store there. Um, it just wasn't necessarily my assortment mix. But um, it's definitely a go-to place to go. So, um, yeah, that's it. I will be back very soon. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm thinking about, not thinking, I'm going to do a how to shop the Goodwill outlet video, how to thrift shop video, just kind of an overview for those of you who kind of get a little anxious going in there. And then, of course, I have my e-course, Thrifting a Designer Wardrobe, where I just give it all to you, honey, and let you know how I have built a fabulous, magnanimous a wardrobe on a budget, honey. So there's that. Anyway, I will be back and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. If you're new to my channel and you've been watching for some time, go on ahead and commit, girl. Go on ahead and commit to me. Okay? <laughs> Love you. We never pay weeds them. Bye. There are counterfeit Jimmy Choo, Louboutin, Manolo Blahniks out there. And a lot of times you can tell that it's not real because the symmetry of the stitching. Lining never lies. I'm gonna say, you're gonna hear me say that over and over again, the lining never lies. So natural fibers and synthetic fibers, what's the difference? Um, and why does that add to cost? 